Hi there, and welcome back to another tutorial on Snappy X. In this case, we're going to do uh, the mix and elbow, elbow case, case that personally speaking I really love. I have done this case like a zillion times. And here, as you saw, you have in the video description the link to the document and on shape. Here, you have the dimensions now. Okay, I'm not an expert here doing the drive wings, but kind of you have the uh, dimension. So basically what we're going to do is this geometry, okay? So we're going to use on shape, do this geometry quite fast, and want to remind you that there is no right or wrong when doing the geometry. I will, fire, I will follow one path, but you can follow another one. And what is interesting also here that, as I always do, I sketch my domain, okay? So in this case, this is an internal flow, so I have my geometry. Okay, but then I also I sketch my internal, my external domain, the one that the, the block mesh. Then in the Snappy X mesh dictionary, you're going to put that point inside the STL and then you get your mesh inside. We're going to see that. Uh, what I wanted to point out that I have this, um, it's slightly larger than your geometry. One advice might be probably you can have your Snappy X mesh matching, okay. Your, your 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 surface, your body, so you can do it perfectly much in here, 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 and here. So you can save some cells, but be careful that maybe that can also cut some some geometry there. So be a be a base of that. So usually I like to do it a little bit larger than the domain. Also another thing that some people or sometimes also depending on geometry I can try to do this you can make you know uh, a smaller domain always to save some cells so see the difference here that you are saving the cells you do this and also to sell save some cells and control memory uh, honestly I don't recommend to do this and basically it depends on the background mesh so if your background mesh is, is super large maybe can be a good action but yeah it's something that can be done but i don't do it very often i just tested to see efficiency finally what we're going to do also here is we're going to see how to generate the surfaces here so basically we extract all the surfaces we export it and then we assemble a body so we're going to have all the surfaces but also a single body and we're going to do some pre-processing okay so basically yeah nice case with a lot to do i want to point out also that very often we receive another geometry like this and what we want to do is the internal part so you need to get know that enclosed that that part that you want to simulate or it might be the case that also you want to simulate the walls you now the physical wall this physical wall so you need to do for instance con conjugate heat transfer so there are many ways to do things be careful about that and yeah so see you in the next videos where we're going to start first geometry, address all the post process, and then we move to meshing where we have many different uh, variants of the same case. So thank you. See you next video. Bye.